Hey everybody, this is Dana from Mom Calls the Shots, and we are going to be talking about the planet Nibiru. Now before we get into what it is and why you should care, the first thing we have to do is unlearn some NASA Operation Paperclip propaganda. Stay with me folks, I promise it's going to get good. First of all, I'm sure you learned in school, like I did, that we had nine or eight or nine or eight, depending on who you ask and when you went to school, planets orbiting our sun and that our sun is essentially the end-all be-all of our solar system right now. Well, that's not entirely true. The first thing you have to consider is that we are part of a binary solar system, meaning that there are actually two suns. Nibiru is orbiting one of its own brown dwarf suns, and its orbit, as you can see, potentially brings it into uh, the orbit of our own known solar system. And before you go thinking that this is just the stuff of conspiracy theories, let me assure you that there are astrophysicists at UCLA that believe that Nibiru or Planet X is a real thing we have to grow concerned about over time. As you can see, Nibiru's orbital path has it way outside of our solar system most of the time. But every 3,600 to 4,600 years or so, it circles back around to our sun. Now, we're not at a risk for an interplanetary collision or anything quite that dramatic. Nibiru, while out of our gravitational pull because it's following its own brown dwarf star most of the time, does interact with our planet when it begins to orbit our sun. This happens every 3,600 to 4,600 years, depending on which expert you ask. And what happens is, as Nibiru circles around our sun, the centrifugal force of coming around the sun essentially whips Nibiru into a faster um, trajectory and all of the uh, debris that is behind and all of the gravitational field uh, interaction that happens, that is when we see uh, severe weather changes, let's just say. Some have actually taken the, pa the path of Nibiru and taken it all the way back to some of the most uh, deadly weather events in history. Do not fall for the idea that the crazy weather is because of something you did or didn't do or did or didn't recycle.